the assassination of the 35th President of the United States, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, in 1963, was one of the most dramatic and traumatic events in American history. It's the subject of a new exhibition at the International Center of Photography in New York. But this is no ordinary look back at history. The exhibition called JFK November the 22nd, 1963, A Bystander's View of History, focuses on how amateur photographers captured this historic event. This ex exhibition focuses specifically on the photography around that event. Uh, and it makes the case that uh, traditional photojournalism failed to capture many of the key moments of the assassination. And in the wake of that failure, uh, what sprang up were amateur photographs taken by everyday bystanders. On display are photographs taken by bystanders on the day Kennedy was assassinated in Dallas, Texas. Included in the exhibition are original stills from a film made by eyewitness Abraham Zapruder. Also on display is Mary Mormon's Polaroid picture of the assassination, as well as various photographs taken by unknown photographers. They weren't news photographs, they were just uh, uh, images that were intended as a personal keepsake or memory of that event. And then of course they turned into historic uh, news photographs because uh, it was the amateurs who were closest to and who were able to record the dramatic events of the shooting itself. Uh, so of course the home movie of Abraham Zapruder uh, the inexpensive Polaroid of Mary Moorman, these became the images through which we remember that event today. To some, the Kennedy presidency gave rise to celebrity culture, and the documentation of his assassination gave rise to citizen journalism, starting trends that continue today. The exhibition runs until January the 19th.